When I came out of high school in 1983, the opportunities were few and far between. I came from a very humble beginning, and uh, what was very apparent to me is that my family could not afford to send me uh, to college. I knew I wanted to go to college and, and do other things in life. And the Marine Corps uh, presented a, a number of opportunities, opened up a, a lot of doors for me. Uh, in many ways, I would say that it, it has changed my life dramatically. One of the midshipmen uh, I shared earlier asked me, I was a banking and finance major here, and he asked uh, why I didn't go out in corporate America and why I elected to come in the Marine Corps and stay and serve. And uh, the money is uh, good uh, in corporate America, I would suppose, uh, but the friendship uh, is a lifetime. When you're out there, uh, as we call it, on point, uh, whether it's Iraq, Afghanistan, Bosnia, uh, the Horn of Africa doing some other things, it's the man to your left and your right that's going to the win the day. Uh, at the end of the day, everybody has to, you have to rely and depend on each individual to accomplish a mission. So that's where you, you learn about the foundation of what it takes uh, to uh, accomplish a mission, so to speak. Overall, whether uh, you're an intelligence officer or an infantry officer, it doesn't matter. As a Marine Corps officer, as a Marine in general, any Marine, uh, from private all the way to the Commandant of the Marine Corps. You can look at a Marine and say that there's a guy that I can count on and he has a very good base of uh, leadership and, and some qualities about him that would be successful in any uh, part of the world. It was a huge transformation. I went to Paris Island and I can still remember and some of the things that uh, uh, I talked to my other service counterparts uh, they don't know the, their service birthdays. I mean, we know from day one at uh, training camp, uh, Paris Island was June 10th, 1985. I was very fortunate to graduate as a series honor man. Uh, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. But when I left Paris Island, I walked tall. My shoulders were rolled back, head and eyes straight to the front. And there was nothing in the world that I didn't think I could accomplish when I left the motivated island as we call it.